The fourth rule of exponents we're going to consider is dividing terms of the same base. So in this situation, we have the base is still x. This time we're dividing. You guessed it, we subtract the exponents. Here's an example. So in this example, we've got x to the seventh divided by x to the second. And since the base is the same, it's x in both of them, we can simply subtract the exponents. This is going to equal x to the seven minus two, which is going to simply equal x to the fifth. Okay? Well, let's consider another example. What if the numerator is bigger than the denominator? Well, if we use our rule, this would simply equal x to the second minus six, which would equal x to the negative fourth. And then if you want to simplify x to the negative fourth, it's a negative exponent, so you put the one on the bottom, you send it to the denominator, and it equals x to the positive fourth on the bottom and a one on the top. Another way to think about this problem is uh, think about x to the second as x times x, okay? And think about x to the sixth as x times x times x, that's three, four, five, six of them, okay? You want to ask yourself, how many x's can I remove? Well, I can remove one of them from the top and one of them from the bottom, and I can remove a second one from the top and a second one from the bottom. Then there's no more x's left on top. There's, a, in fact, nothing left on top. But you can't call it a zero, right? You have to have a placeholder of one, because if it was a zero, zero divided by anything would just be zero. And on the bottom, you have four x's left. x times x times x times x is simply x to the fourth power, okay? So when the denominator, uh, when, the, when the exponent of the denominator is larger than the numerator, you can think about it either one of these two ways. They both result in the same answer.